Police say they believe they have found the handgun used to kill a Bel Air High School student. It may open the door to new charges against the 16 year old suspect and possibly even others. Jason Miles is live outside the school with more on these new developments. Jason. Hey there guys, the student who was shot and killed here at Bel Air High one week ago tomorrow was laid to rest over the weekend. Meanwhile, the Bel Air Police Department's exhaustive search for a weapon apparently paid off. Rain fell as 19 year old Cesar Cortez was remembered during a weekend funeral service attended by, among others, dozens of fellow Bel Air High School students. Like I didn't know Cesar, but a lot of other people did and we just wanted to support them so they could feel better. They mourned as the Bel Air Police Department continued its search for a 32 caliber handgun, announcing today that it was finally recovered nearly a week after Cortez's death. How important is finding a weapon in a case like this? So irrespective of the manslaughter case, there is also a charge for possessing a gun at school. Attorney Nathaniel Petoniak, who's a former prosecutor, tells me the discovery may lead to further charges, but will definitely shore up the existing case against the 16 year old suspect. Recovering the weapon uh, with respect to the manslaughter charge can be significant because they will be able with uh, forensics to link the uh, the fired casing with the gun. The DA's office already suggested Cortez's death was unintentional as the suspect allegedly showed off the gun inside a junior ROTC storage room. Petoniak believes the handgun's recovery also aids in the teenager's defense. Any kind of defenses related to whether that was uh, inadvertent, uh, whether that was due to a defect in the firearm. Police told us the suspect was uncooperative following his arrest hours after the shooting and aren't revealing exactly where the gun he allegedly used was found. Adding in a statement, quote, the police department will not release any more details as it could compromise the integrity of the investigation. Also, we are charged with safeguarding the rights of the suspect and will be vigilant of such. And this is pure speculation, but Petoniak and our own KHOU 11 legal analyst Gerald Treath both say it's possible the handgun's owner could face charges if the suspect got the gun from someone who did not have it properly secured. But again, all of this still very much under investigation. You can read the police department's full statement on KHOU.com. Back to you.